What are you doing? You want to take the recyclables out for me, please? And then recycle that cardboard box. Yeah. Good morning, modern steaders. Good morning, girls. Did you sleep good? It's nice and muddy in here with all the rain. You liking that? I don't know if you can hear that or not, but the excavator operator's back today. So we ended up having our loggers, when they were logging, come across this area and we had them take down the pine trees. Out in here there's probably about a dozen pine trees and more than half of them were blown over or leaning over. So they came over here, got them, left all the hardwood. Now this morning we need to walk around and see what we have over here for maples. And we can use this as our sugar bush if we have any maples over here. So fingers crossed. So right away, I'm seeing a lot of ash trees. We have one maple right here. That's awesome. And actually, we walk over here. We have a big old clump. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is still on our property line of maples. Another maple over here that's good size. A bigger one right there. And this rock wall right here is our property line. And by having them come over here and clean it up, we can walk over here now and get to it. There was, sorry, I got a bug on a spider web or something in my face. There's, the pine trees were so thick and down in here, I couldn't even walk when I came over here. And look at that awesome soil. Man, maybe someday we can have the pigs over here cleaning up this forest and the goats and oh, there's just so much more potential now that we can be doing with our farm that we got it cleaned up. All right, so these trees right here, this clump is ash. The big one in the back, that tall one, that's a maple. That big tall one is a maple. That one's an ash. But look at this nice cleared out area. They're not coming over here with the excavator. So someday I'll have to clean up this area. Or we can let it rot, decompose, and see what happens. But before, I couldn't even walk over here. Now over here is still our property, but see how thick it is? There's still some down pine trees and hardwoods. But it was getting too muddy over here in soft form, so I couldn't go any further. There's a driveway over here and the drainage ditch unfortunately runs into this part of our property. So we couldn't go any further. So we'll have a couple of spots that we'll have to fix up with our chainsaw later on. But for the most part, I'm excited 
and good news is we got a lot more maple trees to tap to make maple syrup with next year. We just got a little bit further of a walk. From what I'm seeing from here all over there, that's a whole lot of maple trees. This clump of wooded area, this is a two acre plot that we have up here. So that can be quite a few maple trees, be a good sized area in the future. Sorry, the walking's not good. In the future to turn pigs out in and goats. I'd want to have it fenced off with a good perimeter fence. That's our main road right there. So we get quite a bit of traffic. And I wouldn't want the animals getting out. We can see the lay of the land from up here a little bit better. The excavator's over there. On the other side of the excavator is our goat barn. That's our house. And that's the big swath up there. And to the top of it is where all the logging equipment was landing the wood and chipping. I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit and show you and just talk to you for a minute. The excavator is burying all of our stump piles, rotted wood and branches. There are areas that I told them not to bury anything and there's areas I said in the pasture, yeah, you can bury stuff out here. And the goal is with that, it's less money because we're not hauling the stuff off, but it's also a big gigantic hoogla culture pasture. So we're gonna have all that wood debris buried and that will hopefully hold moisture in the ground and our grass should grow better. Kind of like a hoogla culture garden, but for a pasture. So we're gonna find out, I guess it's kind of an experiment. I know it's gonna work, but we'll see how good it works for keeping our pasture greener longer. It'll take time. But that's the goal with burying the stumps and the branches and the rotted stuff. The downfall with that is a lot of this nice topsoil, which you see on this side, is over there. We'll probably end up losing some of it. But it's always a toss up on what you can do, what you can't do, how much stuff costs you, what you can afford to do. So it's always trying to say, hey, what works in our situation that we can afford? So this is what we're doing and what we're trying. And fingers crossed, it's all gonna work out for the best. I talked with the logger the other day. We don't have all the numbers back, but hopefully we'll be getting them back shortly and we can go over what the logging end of it cost made and what the excavation end of it was covered by the logging and what it cost us out of pocket. There's still quite a few of maple trees over here that we didn't walk over and check out either. Projects like this going on, you gotta leave to come back and see what it looks like. And just like that, we're back. The chickens are all excited too. They think I have something for them, but I don't. So we got quite a bit done today. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stump piles. And then we got some rocks that we're gonna be putting on the stone wall. I was just talking with the operator before he left and he said what he's running into is it's very bony here, meaning very rocky. And yeah, we know that I was hoping over here wasn't gonna be that way but it is, so every time he's finding stones like this all over the place. So he's having to deal with that, and I was asking him if we should bring a dozer in afterwards, and he said he thinks the dozer will make it worse because it's so bony here for dozing it. It's just gonna be pulling up all those rocks and flipping them over, and he's just gonna be making a mess. So 
as you can see, there's a lot of rocks. So he's thinking the best bet is take a York break to it, which I was going to do after we dozed it. So I don't think we'll be bringing a dozer in, we'll just be using the York rake behind the Kubota. I have one, we used it with the Kubota in mass. I let my father-in-law borrow it when he put his big pasture field in. So we'll have to go over to his house and get it back. And then we'll let the, we gotta let this dry out, it's pretty wet. All right guys, you excited? See, I'm not the only one looking forward to the pasture. And then once it dries out a little bit, cause it is pretty wet down there. I'll be able to rake it. We'll be picking up some rocks, some roots, and then we'll get some seed on it. I'm trying to figure out what to plant it to. Not sure down there. I think we're just gonna do just a conservation mix. It's really bony, and I want to make sure it grows grass. So we'll start with a conservation mix, and up here we'll halfway up or so we'll get into more of a pasture mix. And same with up here, we'll do more of a pasture. But I'm trying to figure out what seed mix to use because there's different grasses that are better for goats because goats don't like to eat just regular grass. I know we can't grow alfalfa, but I know they do good on clover and a few other grasses. So, gotta do a little bit more research and get that figured out. That is just awesome!